Hey you guys, my name is James Diaz with Team Excelsior and today I'm going to teach you how to turn the Civil Protector online. It's going to be using the three fuses. You're going to go into the waterfront district for the first thing, run up these stairs, then you're going to go all the way to the gate, the first gate that you have to open. I'm just uh, picking up one of the rocket shield parts. If you want to see how to build the rocket shield, I'll leave a link in the description below. Anyway, open this gate. Now the fuse is between this gate and the very next gate that you can open. So you just gotta look around. It's usually on a box or a barrel like that. And that is the first fuse. You're gonna go into the rift with this fuse. All right, once you're in the rift, for the first time you're gonna have to kill these guys, obviously, like normal. And then you just run over to here to the fuse box and put in the first fuse. Now you see we're missing two fuses. So we're gonna have to go find those. The next fuse is in the canal district and you can get these in whatever order you want. Run up these stairs. And you're going to have to go over to the very next gate that you can open. It's over right here. And now uh, the fuse is in between this gate. And uh, it's usually on this area from here, from where I am right now, to the gate that I just opened. It's usually in between the, that area right there. Just got to wait for this guy. The fuse is right here. I missed it. In, it's right there. Yeah. It's usually in a box again or a barrel. Then you got to take this fuse to the rift which I opened this part for myself because it's always nice to have opened. It's nice to have places to run around when you're training zombies and stuff. Anyway, go back to the fuse box, pop in that second fuse, and you still need the last fuse, which is in the footlight district. You're going to run, 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 all the way. I passed it, the stairs. Go up the stairs. I was, yeah, go up the stairs, and then go over here and you're gonna open this gate. Now, this fuse is usually within this gate and all the way at the very end of this area. This little tiny area, way over there. It's usually on the little bridge, or where I got it. You just gotta look around, you'll find it. Go back into the rift, pop that fuse into the fuse box, and now that we have all three, all you gotta do is go upstairs to one of the many um, civil protector on civil protector things there are. There's a ton of them. You could do it to any of them. All you have to do is donate $2,000 to the Metro City Police Department or the Morgue City Police Department. I'm pretty sure it's Morgue City Police Department. See, I'm going to put in some money and it, it drops down to 180 so I, I have to give them 180 And I don't know if you can how many times you can do this with your friends. Like if you could have multiple civil protectors that would be super awesome. I don't know if that could happen, but see, I finally did it, and it says Civil Protector on call in the junction, because that's where I got him. And you get this little awesome robot that runs around killing zombies for you. It's so awesome. Except the only downside to this guy is he will kill the last zombie. So if you want to keep the last zombie, like I usually do, to like run around and do stuff and buy perks and, and buy guns and, and all that stuff, and maybe pack a punch later on, you don't want to get this guy, but he really does help for the higher rounds. Typically on the lower rounds, he'll last like three rounds. And then once you get into like round 20 or 25, he lasts usually like one round. The zombies don't attack this guy. He just runs on his own killing zombies and he'll just die all on his own. And I don't know if you can get multiple of these civil protectors if you play with your friends. I have no idea. That would be really cool. And I don't know if it costs more later on. I did get him at like around 25, not in this gameplay, but in another gameplay, and uh, he still costs $2,000. I don't know if you buy him more, if he costs more, or if you play with your friends, he costs more, I don't know. But anyway, I hope this helped. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in another one.